hello everyone you're welcome to today's video and in today's video i'm going to be taking you through the steps in registering your business on google and it doesn't matter whether your business is just starting up or you are already doing very well in business this will enable people to easily find your business anytime they type your business name on google to explain this further the detailed well organized information about a business you usually see that displays like this anytime you type a particular business name on google follow these steps i'm about to take you through for your business to be up and running on google let's begin with the steps my wife ran an original taste on brown business so we are going to register that business on Google so that anytime somebody types in original taste on brown, my wife's business will display. But before you even start, you will need to have a Google account for that business. So if you don't have a Google account for that business, you need to consider creating one. So you will go over to Google and type Google my business. Once it opens, you would have to scroll down and sign in. This is where we have to sign in. But let's just type in the name to see whether it is already on Google. So you can see there's nothing like that on Google. So let's go back. For those with multiple accounts, it will already be seen that one of your accounts will already be logged in. So you'll have to come and click on this button and select the account you would like to use to register your business. But I'll be going for this Focus Organic Foods account because that's the account I have created to register the business. So I'll tap on it and click on add your business to Google. Start filling in and making edits. So business name, I'll just write original taste Tom Brown because that is what the business is about then we come to category so i just go through the suggestions and choose the one that best suits the business so it's food product supplier i'll just click on that and click on next do you want to add a location customers can visit like a shop or office yes why not i'll click on yes and click next add address so ghana street that's right um, the street name and then town or city tamale next this stage will demand a little bit of your time that's because you would have to zoom in or maybe zoom out and place the red marker exactly where your business is located so you would like to tap the satellite option so that you can have a clear view of the map once i'm zooming in and zooming out i'm just trying to see exactly where i can place the marker that best describes the location of the business once you get to the exact location of where your business is you just leave the marker there and click on next do you provide deliveries or home and office visits i'll go for yes and click next add areas you save this is optional but if you want to go ahead and add you can add but i'll skip this so i click on next add contact info at this point you would have to add in a valid contact number because google will be sending a code to that particular contact for verification make sure the number you're going to put is active check this box if you have a website but if you don't have a website don't bother so i'll uncheck it and click on next stay in the know you want updates and recommendations for your business on google of course why not i'll click on yes and click on next so at this point you are going to verify the contact number i submitted so they are asking if i want a phone call or a text message i'll go for the text message so a code will be sent to that number and you will have to copy that code and fill this portion once you put in the code you click verify code was accepted so you click on next so at this point you would have to choose your working days and then your working hours so monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and then close on sunday so if you're a business that operates 
on all the days you can go ahead and take on all the days so we'd have to add the times that you start work and the times that you close work so at this point i'm going to fast forward the video when i'm done filling everything then we continue hey before we continue with the steps i've only got a little over 200 subscribers help me get to 500 subscribers kindly subscribe to this channel for regular videos on tech apps tricks tips and reviews now let's continue with the steps so the business starts operating at 8 a.m and closes at 8 p.m so once you are done filling in the times you can click on next add messaging app so let's customers message your business on google for free yes i'll click on next add business description this way you just type in something brief to describe your business to people who are just visiting your business so i just put original tastes tom brown and click on next add photos of your business so you have the opportunity at this point to upload pictures of your business this will make people see what you do and how your products looks like so if you happen to have taken pictures of your business or pictures of your products this is where you would have to upload all those pictures on and you can upload as many pictures as possible so i'm going to fast forward this part once i'm done uploading the picture i'm going to come back and we we'll continue with the video so once you are done uploading enough pictures you can go ahead and click on next your edits will be visible once you are verified so click continue and that is it you are done once google is finished reviewing all your edits your business will be up and running on google leave your comments if this video was helpful like this video also share this video with friends, family and everyone. See you in the next video.